Hello guys and welcome to the episode of Brompton. So as you can see, um, Craig is out raking um, in his borrowed Massey with my, my rake. Uh, my T7 is here and we are going to rent in the crone. The, not the crone, I'm on about the fusion. Um, now, I'm not sure whether it puts mods in whether you can rent mods I hope you can yes you can that's good right for one day it's going to cost uh, five grand it's a fair bit but anyway we got enough uh, enough money so that's all right I'm not sure why my FPS yet FPS is in the thirties, but anyway. Right, unfold it. Stick it on. Stick wrapping on. And away we go. Yeah, it's working fine. Uh, so, this is actually, although I did say that's a high yield, and he got just around the corner and uh, started the first bail. Um, I, um, although I did say I was going to. Um, uh, wait until for a bit and see whether you guys wanted contractors or rent it in. Um, I did need to um, get this recorded now really because um, at this weekend we're going to try and get the whole crop done um, but uh, it's still going to be released uh, on the usual time but um, just not recorded. Um, yeah. So, um, we'll just carry on. Not, uh, not too bad. Done half a headland and got two bales. So, it's uh, good. Uh, good levels in this field. So then guys, welcome back. Um we um I'm just finishing up this field. Um it's a pretty decent yield. Uh just off the headlands we got nine bales, so yeah, not bad at all. The levels are pretty close. It'd be even better if uh was one higher on PK, so but uh not bad at all. It's a good setup, it does ever so slightly maybe go a touch slower than some tractors, but having said that, it's uh, it's not really <laughs> a bad speed at all. I'll just turn around downhill so that the uh, bale can rest against the back door, because otherwise it goes flying or rolling. We'll be um, buying a new trailer um, when it gets closer to the time of selling these, or when, uh, when we're about to sell them. I guess Craig must have finished. Um, but um, yes, we, we won't bother with buying a, uh, a size bale grab because. Uh, when we're selling them, we don't need them anymore, so we can just use the uh, the rock bell forks. That's fine. I'll turn that off to stop it's bleeping.
he'll go off and rake uh, probably field 7 first, I don't know. I guess it's up to him. The smallest amount ever. Another bale. I guess he must have uh, raked two rows into one there. Two sort of raked rows into one. Because that looks quite wide around the um, around the bushes there. But I don't know. People seem to be liking, um, well, <laughs> not being too uh, mad at me buying the T7. Obviously, I can't please everyone because everyone has a different favourite brand. But um, I don't think, even as a model, it's bad whether it, whether you like the brand or not. Just went for this Fusion 2 because it was going to be cheaper, really. But um, I do prefer the look of the Fusion 3, but I don't think there's anything bad with this one. This, of course, is made by Sam N Modding. I must uh, enter for the mod contest. Missed a bit. PK is very low down there. Anyway, perfect there. So, rest of the field must be pretty good. Uh, in the last episode, I asked um, about whether what people want to see to finish up, maybe some muck spreading with uh, um, Homer DLC or something, um, or what, I don't know. Um, I need people to tell me what they want to see for the rest of the Let's Play because, I don't know, um, I've only got the whole crop planned, that'll be only one episode, so there won't be um, a lot else planned, and there's four more episodes, so there's three more episodes um, that haven't got a plan, uh, so I do need you guys to tell me. So in terms of selling, um, at some point we're going to need to sell up all the um, all the stuff we've got. I won't be selling up um, the stuff for the cows, the feed for the cows, but we'll be selling all the stuff that we've um, made to sell. So all the silage trails need selling, all the um, all the beet, all the wheat and barley that all needs to be sold. Um, so I I do need to sell all that. Um, it might be a case of we do that after the do a mass selling session after the um, whole crop because then there's two guys with trailers. Um, just depends what trailer 
Um, uh, the other person brings that's still to be announced. Uh, I won't confirm that who's co who's coming to help just yet because um, there's a possibility that uh, they might not be available. Um, but you'll find out on Friday when they arrive. Someone asked me um, in episode 31, the last episode, um, as to whether what sort of thing I was thinking of doing for 17 um, in terms of let's play. Um, I don't plan to do one on a let's play on the in-game map. I think that'll be uh, a lot of people will be exploring that for themselves. I think the in-game maps are never the sort of style of map I want to play on normally. Um, and then there's suggestions of Ings, Ings Farm and um, And uh, another one that um, Oxygen David's thinking it or is WIPing. Um, so, does those ones? I think the first ones that come out will be very popular. People again, that'll be like the in-game map. People, will, everyone will be playing them. Um, so maybe possibility. This is only a possibility of. Um, Converting well, I will be converting in Gary Farms, but there's a possibility of doing that as an MP series. Um, whether it's done sort of legit or done as the contractors, um, I'm not entirely sure. Whether it's just our just different episodes of what we're having to doing at the time of recording in the um, in a uh, in on the virtual farm but um, how that's going to be I'm not sure but I do quite like the map um, I haven't really had a lot of opportunity to do much with it in the in 15 it is mostly done now um, I am getting some help from Nathan um, 6930 I believe his name is I'm sorry <laughs> sorry if I got that wrong um, but uh, yeah, he's kindly given me a hand uh, with the fixing the PDA. But apart from that, um, there's nothing else really needs doing. It is in testing, so uh, as we speak, um, we've got two Ingagu workers on that now. Um, so it is in testing. They might throw up some problems, and that'll be we'll sort them. But um, on the whole, it seems to be coming on well. I've put the muck, muck pile, or the heap is in in the shed, and you've got to muck them out manually, um, which I always like. Um, in the past, when I tried to do that, I've had some trouble, um, but this uh, seems to have worked. If I did get uh, Nathan's name wrong. Uh, YouTube name wrong. I will uh, correct myself on 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 the screen editing. Um, but yeah. I think we'll have a cut now then, um, and we'll come back um, either in field 7 or 8, uh, whichever one we end up in. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Right well then guys, so um, we've almost finished this field now. Um, we got a reasonable amount of bales off this field, consider it so small. Around, I think it's around 10 so far. We'll probably get one more off this. Probably. And then, yeah. 
say so. It is a shame that the grass has grown a bit, but that's just because um, we had to speed up time for the other grass fields, so oh well. I, although I have said I'm going to spray some herbicide um, C on in in that field, um, looking at the fields, they haven't got too many weeds, and due to the position of the tram lines, that, like we had last time. As I explained last time, it's a bit temperamental, I'd say, to um, to get that. So um, I think we might leave that. To be honest, they'll chop or right. I don't think it's going to cause any major problems. Um, can we get in there, all right? Craig did ring me up, said finish raking, and so uh, park back up at the yard. So. So yeah, that's all fine. Carry on. So far we've got f almost 50 bales. Whoops, I didn't mean to put them on. Um, so we're doing four fields with 50 bales. So we are going to make a fair bit of money. They bring in uh, two grand each. What's that? 100 grand then. We don't need that money. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah pretty mad really obviously we have got to wait a few days for them to ferment so we'll just leave them in the field mm, that's going to fall down I think It, that QR code on the back of the um, Fusion 2 does actually work. I did get bored one day and test it. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it brings you to, but it, it does actually bring up a web page. It doesn't. Whether it's just like a blank one, just so that it's got something on it, I don't know. going to be um, more loads now we've got uh, a smaller trailer but uh, equally faster to cart them because we won't have to faff around so much getting in the yard so much I say <laughs> I was saying in the um, FS17 mega thread on FSUK um, I hope but I equally doubt that they bring out, Giants bring out, say, a £5, pound, um, £5, pound, £4, pound, something like that, um, DLC for the Richard Weston. That would be quite nice, I think. There's, then we could get some British style trailers that are well done. Because, apart, I mean, we've got Richard, um, in Gagri have got a Richard Weston. Uh, but it is just a convert from 13 and to be honest there aren't many good Richard Weston trailers out there that everything completely works in type thing um, so I would really like to see that they are introducing um, more sideless trailers you've got the um, TS or TX uh, crone size trailer um, I can't just remember the number but um, I think it might be the TX and um but they are very large but i mean they're not unheard of to be used i mean you've equally got the um the oh what's the name of it the joskin silo space um that's well i'm not sure they called it the silo space but it, it's very similar to um to the silo space silo space uh, which is which i've seen in videos and things before um but yeah that again that is a silage trailer um so they are bringing them out um which is nice so from the off we will have 
some form of size trailer rather than just using a a trailer. <laughs> um, but uh, I haven't seen too many um, medium-ish sized um, grain trailers like 16 tons or 18, 14, that sort of size. That would be quite nice to see but then again we didn't really see that for um, 13 either. Oh, 15 either, sorry. Um, although they are, they um, have brought out um, one that seems a medium sized. Um, but we'll wait and see. Only a few weeks now. Got this middle run here. Oh, I'm not sure we'll make it to the top to unload this on the way down, but we might do. The levels aren't so good in this field, but um, even so, it's not a bad yield. And more what I sort of ex was expecting than uh, than the very high in the other fields. Right guys, so um, back now, last little tiny bit, and I'll let that one out if I can just, there we go. Right, that's the end of the bailing, we'll go down this way so we can just close up the gate. Pop out and just uh, grab this gate, and then we'll take this to the direct cell and sell it. And then that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Um, I'm not sure it was quite so long today. But um, I don't think it was too bad in length. Don't all need to be uh, massive. As long as they're sort of over 25 minutes. Or 20 minutes, that's fine. Did I not close up that gate? Oh, I'll do it on the way back. Now, um, as I was saying earlier about Ingogi Farms, um, I'm not sure how it's going to be released, but I am pretty sure at, this, at the moment in time that it will be released for FS17. Um, but I don't think it will probably make FSUK, um, but it might do. So, But yeah, we'll see what the future holds on that front. But yeah, I'll definitely give it to you guys. Um, so yeah, sell the fusion. Did we... No, I don't think we made a great deal of money then. I'm not entirely sure. I should have looked. Alright, so we'll close up this gate. Oops, I thought it was a bit... <laughs> Whoops, I should know this map by now. I edited it. And spent 30 episodes on it. Um, or give or take. I'm not sure where um, Craig parked up, but um, probably be. I guess he must have um, stuck it back on the trailer. Yeah, he has. Alright, so we'll just pull in here. Give it a wash down. I have to say, I do quite like the look of it. So. Yes. There we go then. Um. 
So, uh, where should we park this? We'll park it in here. Won't be doing anything ex next episode of this tractor, but um, it can sit around. It won't be. We'll put the um, seven, eight, ten on the pit, I think. Um, but yes, uh, exactly how that plan folds out, uh, you'll see in uh, the next episode. So um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.